Hey, welcome to another episode of the LEGO Train Automated Container Terminal. Uh, we had some pressure problems last episode, so this episode we're going to build a brand new compressor. It's going to be uh, twice the size of the previous one. And there's not much that can go wrong with building a compressor, so I have good hopes that uh, we have a very good result. So the compressor um, is going to be multifunctional. Um, I'm going to split it into two parts. So um, you can use it as one big compressor like we need in this project or you can use it as two separate compressors with different set points on, uh, I don't know, another project where you need two different air pressures. So uh, that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, yeah, that's about it. Let's get started. So I finished the circuit board and uh, what you see here is that we have a terminal on which we can connect the uh, 12 volts input voltage. Then we have two regulators that make 9 and 5 volts, which are also available on the terminals on the outside. I don't know why yet, but it seemed to me that it could be multifunctional. We have the uh, Arduino microcontroller in the middle. It's actually just an 80 mega with an Arduino bootloader at the, at the moment. I didn't include the whole Arduino board because that only takes space. We have two connections for the uh, pressure transmitters. Next to that we have two displays. One is displaying the actual pressure that you've seen in the previous version. And this display here uh, displays also the uh, set point for example next to the actual pressure. And the set point can be adjusted with these two variable resistors. There's a little jumper that you see here. I don't know. Yeah, you can see it on the video. This is where I tell the system if I want to use two compressor or just one big compressor. That's about it what I can tell you about it. Oh yeah, let's... The back. The back is very cool. <laughs> well, this is the back. <laughs> and as you can see, it's a mess. It's really... Yeah. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's doable. Everything works just fine. It tested every function and um, there's no problem there. Uh, but yeah, well, it's a mess with all the uh, wires and stuff like that. Um, maybe it was better to uh, design a dedicated printed circuit board for this, but then I need to design it, I need to uh, send it to China, then I have to wait for, uh, I don't know, four weeks before I get it, and I get uh, 10 of those, instead I need only one. So uh, in this case I thought like, okay, we're gonna do it on the old fashioned way like this. So I'm gonna continue building the uh, compressor now. So here we are and uh, this is the compressor. On the left side there's one part and on the right side there's also a part. And like I said I can operate this compressor as just one big compressor or as two smaller compressors with their own set point. Um, you see the outgoing line here from, from this compressor, the outgoing line here from uh, this compressor. They go to a set of valves and they end up together through this T-piece to this part here where you can hook up your installation. Now if I want to use it as two separate compressors I'll just switch these two valves and the air of both compressors is guided to these two outlets here and then I got two separate compressors. I need to tell the software also if I want to use one big compressor or two separate ones. So that's why I installed a little jumper setting here. I can, I can set the jumper. I added also a turbo function. And uh, the turbo function is enabled if the pressure is below 35 psi. And I've done that because it takes also a while before the compressor is... Uh... So I did that because uh, when you start the day like now and the air tanks are empty, it takes a while before the air tanks are completely filled. So that's why I installed a turbo function and um, it's enabled below the 35 psi and uh, during the turbo function the motors will run on 12 volts. Well these motors are actually rated for 9 volts so once the pressure is above 35 psi the motors will run on 9 volts. So during normal process operations the pressure won't go below the 35 psi so once booted uh, the turbo function won't be enabled anymore. I added another nice feature that is the runtime of the motors. I took apart the old compressor and saw some wear and I had no idea how many hours the thing had run. So I believe it's, it's about 10 to 20 hours, something like that, runtime. So what I did here, I built in a function that when the motors are started, 
um, a timer is started and when the motors are stopped uh, the timer stopped and the values are saved into the flash memory of the microcontroller so um, it won't be erased when the power cuts off and like that I keep counting and uh, by using this button here I'll show you in a second you can actually see that the display displays the uh, the uh, runtime per motor yeah well that's about it so um, let's enable the thing and uh, let's see what it does so now it's in turbo mode and also the display is saying that turbo and you see that the pressure is now rising and you see that the set point is now set on 39 psi which is a bit slow so I'm gonna increase that a bit you hear the difference now the turbo is off so that's it <laughs> um, did you hear the turbo let me show you once more so we're gonna move remove some air until it's below 35 psi and then you hear the uh, compressor running on 12 volts and when it reaches above 35 you'll hear that the compressor will uh, run a bit slower so here we go Alright, um, so the runtime you can actually see when I press this button here. I don't, I don't know if you can see it with the lights or, or. Let me just kill the light. That. And now you see also here the uh, the pressure is 41, and the set point is 42. And when I press this button here, you can see the runtime, which is still zero hours since uh, the compressor is brand new. So uh, the last question that I have is, do you have a, uh, an idea about what I need to do with the compressor? Do I need to keep it open like, like you see now? Which is kind of cool because you see all the, uh, the, the pumps moving. Or should I add some, uh, I don't know, stairs or... or pathways or something like that that the, the, the process operators can walk around so um, if you have, let me kill that if you have, if you have any idea about that uh, please share it in the comment section of the video uh, thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't done so uh, you're helping me with it and uh, I hope to see you next time next time we're gonna move uh, some containers probably since this was the last hurdle that we had to take and uh, so I hope to see you then. Bye.